turn here to John Fourcade Show, sponsored each week by Veterans Ford. It's our special spotlight feature each and every week, and we look at two of the top players in the nation most of the time. Guys that uh, you'll be seeing going up against LSU or Tulane or Southeast Conference and our first player this week. It was a guy that got a lot of ink on what he did late in the Ole Miss Arkansas game. Tight end Hunter Henry from University of Arkansas. Hunter 6'5", 250 pounds. John, he was the most highly recruited tight end in the nation coming out of Pulaski High School in Arkansas. It came down between Arkansas and Alabama and he decided to go to Arkansas. Got us caught 34 passes, average almost 14 yards a catch, and he made a phenomenal play against your Rebels. Yeah, he did. I said, you know, you, you, you saw the stats say he had 34 catches. I think he had 28 of them in this football <laughs> game. Uh, we were in the stands looking going like, okay, who's going to cover the tight end? He, he, he ate our lunch. He ate Ole Miss up. Made a great play on that play. He was smart. Uh, I didn't like the way Ole Miss played him on that on that posi on that possession. But I'll say this much: this guy you'll see on Sunday playing. He'll with be no a first doubt round about pick. it. He can get down the field. He's strong. He got good hands, soft hands. He catches the ball. He runs with it after. And he's such a smart football player. For him to understand what happened there, just no matter what happens, he had to catch it and throw it backwards. And it wasn't a design play because he just caught the ball and he he's just going down. It. He just threw it back over his head and. I mean, he, as far as he knew, he had five offensive linemen back there with a quarterback and a running back, and, and it happens to get to the running back's hand. But what a great play, and, and Arkansas went on to win the game. A few years back, he came to the uh, Manning Passing Academy, and he reminded me of almost Odell Beckham-like, catching the ball, one hand, smack, smack, left, right. And it was like, whoa, who's this guy? And you find out, you know, he's a top-rated tight end in the nation, mm. just how good of a football player. I think he's going to end up being a late first, real early second-round pick. But all I know is last year, Arkansas pounded, pounded, pounded away at LSU, and then they would drag Hunter Henry over the middle. Kendall Beckwith was all out of position. He had a tough game against Alabama. Yeah, he, he was way out of position. I think you look at that film. I know one thing. If I'm Arkansas, I'm targeting Hunter Henry going up against Kendall Beckwith. Well, there's no deal that uh, that's what Arkansas is coming to this football game. Arkansas has changed their – granted, Arkansas is a running team, but look, when I watched them play Ole Miss last week, uh, their quarterback went off 440-something yards passing and, and four or five touchdowns. I mean, it was an unbelievable game. So, obviously, Arkansas is looking to open it up a little bit more, I guess so. you got tight ends like that. And the other tight ends are pretty good pretty receiver, Pretty good player, too. too. And they got some receivers aren't bad. they got a good running game. Their running back's a little banged up for Arkansas. But I truly believe this. This is going to be a battle for LSU this weekend. It's going to be interesting this week because I know a lot of Tiger fans are going to be having their eyes in Starkville, Mississippi to watch Dak Prescott go up against Alabama and uh, – uh, young man from Houghton High School in Louisiana. LSU came in late to recruit him, uh, but Doc had early, you know, recruited and verbally committed to Mississippi State. 6'2", 230 pounds. He looks physically a lot different. We saw him this year at the Manning Passing Academy, and he looked like a totally different guy. He's been working out with a, a personal trainer. Much better in the pocket than we've seen him in the past. Not so much of a runner. 18 touchdowns, just one pass interception, John, and that's impressive. That is the big difference from Dak Prescott this season and last year. Last year, he was we all knew he can run the football, Mike. You knew that as well, that coming out of high school. Everybody thought he was more of a running style quarterback and not necessarily, uh, 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 he was more of a thrower. Now he's becoming a passer, 18 and one ratio touchdowns to INTs. He's in the pocket a little bit more. He understands when he does move around, that he's able to throw the football at 66% completion is pretty good in college football. But the thing about it is he's finding his receivers. He's not looking to run first and then maybe find them second. He's looking around for a receiver. If they're not there, he'll find someone else and then maybe run. And that's the big difference in it. But I don't know if they're going to have enough horses to take yeah, care of playing against Alabama. I, I, I agree with you there. Can they protect him right, that's up against Alabama's really, really strong front seven? Uh, he's got a big guy throwing the football that can catch it. And, and, and Bear Wilson, man, Durano, oh. he is a big oh. man. Uh, he was Mr. Alabama in, in basketball as a prep star, and he is a huge target to carry. But I agree with you. Can they win that battle? in the? Because they don't run the ball well. No. Without Josh Robinson anymore running the football, it's really come down to them spreading the field, which may play right into their hands. I think those are the type teams. And I really would I'd love to see Baylor play Alabama. If it's a Final Four, I would like to see Nick Saban's defense go up against what Baylor has to throw. Now, Baylor can't stop them. Right. But, man, my thing would be in that game, take the over. 
True. <laughs> you, and, and like this game you talk about, the, you know, the Mississippi State game, it, it's a game where they're at home. That's a, that's a plus for them. Coming off of a big win for Alabama, you, may, you might say, well, maybe they'd be a little let down coming in here after playing LSU. But I don't know if the defensive unit for Mississippi State is going to be able enough to keep up with Alabama's and Derrick Henry, ground. right? That's uh, the thing. You know that, and now we're seeing a lot more of Kenyon Drake being involved. He True. had a horrific yep. injury. Uh, you saw it last Ole year Miss, against right. Ole Miss. He had a really, really bad injury. He's come back, but and Dak Prescott's impressive. He's an NFL they no uh, doubt. quarterback. I don't think there's any question about. It. I think a lot of people last year, oh, you know, he won't play in the NFL. He's a totally different guy this year than we saw a year ago, and he's Mississippi State's best hope to beat Alabama this season. I just don't know if they got enough meat in the trenches, so to speak, to do it. We'll be back with more of the John Forcade Show, sponsored each week by Veterans Forward.